Hi, my name is Chris Conti and I'm the Chief Innovation Officer here at PRG. Uh, this is another video in our innovation series. So much of the shows that we do today is driven by technology. Because we're so close to the production, it gives us a really unique perspective on the needs and desires of a lot of, of what our customers are looking for. In this video, we're going to actually talk about lighting networking equipment. We wanted to kind of give you guys an overview of some of the networking equipment and technology that we use to execute a lot of our shows. In this particular scenario, we're going to talk about a lighting network. I have a Grand M A2 up here, but this networking setup that I'm using, it could be used for a HOG, could be used for an ETC console, could be used for Campsys or AVO, just about any console that has a, a network protocol, ArtNet, Streaming ACN. What we have here is we have a front of house scenario, and then we have two separate rack locations. I have Streaming ACN coming out of the desk uh, to this Ethernet switch here. And Streaming ACN enables us to transport large quantities of DMX over an Ethernet network. Streaming ACN comes out of the desk, hits the switch, it goes up a fiber optic cable to our rack location, and then at our rack location we have another switch and a node, and the node acts as a down converter. It takes the streaming ACN and down converts or pulls off the network the specific universe of DMX that we need at that location. Now every device on the network has an IP address, and that's something that I've gone and already set up. I've set the desk, the MPU here, the switch and the nodes. I tend to like to have the processing in front of house, and that way everything downstream from the console is just doing a data conversion. I don't have to worry about any uh, uh, two-way communication. This switch, for instance, is currently set to 10.101.0.1. Think about an IP address like your mailing address. You know, like the 10 here would be like the state you lived in. 101 would be the town you live in. The zero would be the street you live on, and the one would be the house number. Every device in the network has to have a unique address, just like every house on your street has a unique address. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go upstage and talk about how we convert the streaming ACN to DMX and get that off the network. So I'm upstage right now at our rack location here. And at this rack location, I have an ethernet switch. I have an extra console. The console is actually uh, uh, connected to the one out front at front of house. Uh, this is just a focus desk. And then I have a node and then I have an, a light here. Uh, it's kind of going to show you how we're going to get the DMX off the network. And basically what's happening here is the streaming ACN is coming down a fiber optic cable and hitting this switch. What I have to do is now plug the switch into our node. So I've got a piece of ethernet here, it's a piece of cat5e, goes right in. i got an, a link light indicating that we're connected to the switch and now the node is sending streaming ACN. Now what we're looking at here is a PRG super node. It's console agnostic, it will take ArtNet and or streaming ACN. It is actually the backbone for a lot of the shows that we do. Uh, the reason why is the flexibility and the capability that it gives us. So right now I have, currently on the network, there's 20 some odd uh, universes coming down the fiber optic and it's hitting this node. And what we're going to do is pretty much what we do on like the Super Bowl and a lot of our other shows is now I'm going to dial up the universe specific for this fixture right here. I have this GLP impression fixture here. It is currently set up for universe 10. I want to select which output on the node the universe is going to come out. So I'm going to select output 1, I'm going to dial in universe 10, I get a green light indicating that DMX is coming out, I got my XLR 5 pin here, plug it in, and voila, now I'm uh, driving this fixture right here. The console generates the streaming ACN, the switches transport the uh, streaming ACM and distribute it, we use fiber optic to go long distances and then we use nodes to down convert the streaming ACN back to DMX. And then it's five pin XLR, the last mile to the fixture here. Pretty much the procedure is the same on stage left. I plug in my super node, I dial up the universes uh, at that location, and then I'm off and running. We can do multiple setups like this. It's not uncommon for a large show to have thousands of feet of fiber optic cable and to have you know 20 or 30 nodes distributed around a, a stadium to provide data at the local areas. And the great thing about this scenario, like I said, is all the universes are flowing on the network and all I have to do is select what universe I want to output on, on which port. 
So thanks for taking the time to check out our video on networking equipment. If you want more information about the specific equipment that we had in the video here, or you want to know more about some of our other equipment that we have available, head on over to PRG.com and check it out.